fucking way. There's no fucking way. Get, There's no fucking get way. the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, just right off the bat, besides the fact that this guy's jerking off to anime in a fucking public bathroom, who the fuck is this guy breaking into the stall just to start recording someone jerking off? What the fuck? Like, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I feel like the dude breaking into the fucking stall room just to record the dude jerking off is somehow more ridiculous than the dude jerking off in the fucking stall to anime in the first place. Like, let's just think about this for one second, okay? You got a friend. You find out he's jerking off in the public bathroom to anime. What is your natural reaction to that? Because apparently for this dude, it's breaking in and fucking recording him jerking off. <laughs> Get out of here, dumbass! Oh. Open the door! Hey guys, look. Phil was jerking off in the bathroom, so I decided to bust open the door right when he was about to bust the nut and start recording him busting a nut to anime. Oh, I got him, guys. Look. Uh. <laughs> Get out of here, dumbass! So recently, everybody's favorite YouTube channel, BuzzFeed, ended up uploading a video the other day where pretty much they obviously mock everybody that dislikes BuzzFeed by almost implying that anyone that really dislikes BuzzFeed is just an absolute social reject loser that jerks off to anime, and I'm not even making this shit up. Like, seriously, I'm not <laughs> even fucking joking. I mean, essentially the entire video is about this crazy motherfucker that does all sorts of random shit that obviously completely hates BuzzFeed, and the entire message of the video is... It's pretty fucking pathetic. When it comes down to it, the entire video is just pretty much saying, if you don't like BuzzFeed, well then, this is probably you, and I I'm not even gonna fucking explain it. It's just absolutely insane. Yeah! And you know what? We're just gonna watch it today. So with that being said, pa -pa 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 play that fucking shit! Let's oh. the door! BuzzFeed, that is absolutely hilarious. Get it, guys? Because anybody that doesn't like BuzzFeed really doesn't like BuzzFeed because they can't get laid themselves. Ha! Huh. Oh my god, BuzzFeed. That was super witty, BuzzFeed. Holy shit. Unfortunately, you guys are a little bit late to the bandwagon of the cop out of, oh yeah, the people that don't like me are just 10 years old. Somebody decided to give this dude advice on how to get pussy by telling him to go to work and meet someone, but then they show him playing video games, implying that he doesn't have a job, because how could anyone have a job that doesn't like BuzzFeed? It's pretty much fucking impossible, dude! BuzzFeed is like the Beatles of this generation, or even more accurately, the Black Plague. Oh, man. He pussied out. Look at that. He got a date, but he didn't have the balls to go up to her, man. Oh, man. What a fucking loser, right? Get it? Because he probably has extreme amounts of social anxiety. And on top of that, he probably has a few social disorders as well. But, I mean, he doesn't like BuzzFeed, so fuck this guy, dude. I mean, Jesus Christ, BuzzFeed. What are you guys, a fucking commentary channel? Welcome to the party, man. I mean, shit, BuzzFeed. I know you guys changed one of your YouTube channels to, like, a different name. Is this this channel gonna be changed to like BuzzFeed is here or something? You guys gonna actively change your content to start bullying disabled people? I mean, fuck man, I'm all up for the competition. I mean, I gotta be real though, there really isn't that much competition right now because everybody including myself is dying, but I mean, it's up to you guys. You guys are the ones that are gonna have to make that choice. I mean, what are you guys, fucking disabled? Yeah, that would never work in pretty much any situation on planet Earth. I mean, seriously, I don't give a shit if she wasn't facing him. It's very obvious when someone pushes you and then grabs you back. Are you fucking serious? Speaking of getting pushed into a car and pulled back, this stupid fucking retarded editing right here makes me want to get pushed into a car and not pulled back. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Thanks for picking me 
Yeah, of course. Okay, why don't you check again? Because I called 30 minutes ago and someone said that. I, as I said, there are four names on this list. Can I see the list? Um, no, excuse me, sorry. We can sorry. just walk around and see some what's around. We're not gonna, we're not gonna walk anywhere. Oh man, things are going shitty right now. Who could have saw that coming? I mean, seriously, I 100% expected that BuzzFeed would have got this man laid. What is going on, BuzzFeed? Wow. You know, this is a real shocker, BuzzFeed. Real fucking shock. Sorry about the whole restaurant thing. Oh no, it was fine. It was okay. fine. It worked out. Thanks yeah. for having me. No, thanks for coming. All right, bye. Bye, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Sure, yeah. Okay, great. Bye. All right. Bye. Oh my god. That's it, I am so fucking done. You gotta love how you can almost smell the salt coming from BuzzFeed just in this video alone. Like, we all know he's gonna get rejected by like 15 different girls and at the end he's gonna be like, Fuck women, dude! Uh, uh, BuzzFeed's fucking gay! But just to add the icing on the cake, just to add the insult to injury, they also make him jerk off to anime in the first fucking five seconds of the video just to prove that this guy is unappealing and then they immediately follow that up three minutes later with him just fucking up on his skateboard. Like, look, he's not even good at skateboarding. What a fucking loser. Just wanted to call and see if you got my text from the other week. Um, oh, hit me up. Send me a message on Facebook or something. I'm around. I have my phone on me. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, yeah man. I think she's like... Dude, come the... Alright, that's it. Seriously, does his friend, like, have fucking one too many chromosomes? What the fuck is up with him? Why did he just grab his phone and run off into the room? Like, I understand that he's probably a little bit obnoxious, and I get that, and I get some people are like that, but this is just fucking retarded. Oh, yeah, hey, check out this girl, man. I, I really like her. Oh, let me grab your phone and run off into the closet like a fucking chimpanzee. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, I'm... <laughs> Okay, BuzzFeed, I'm so fucking done. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Fred? I'll let you know. Actually, can you start on Monday? Jesus fuck. I swear to god this editing is genuinely affecting my health as we speak. This shit can't be healthy. Oh my fucking god. Here. It's kind of tricky. You have to just... Okay. Should be good now. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, bitch. Nice, right? Stop. Seriously, what the fuck is his friend? I'm really getting sick and tired of this shit. Like, I get it, they're trying to portray, like, people that don't like BuzzFeed in the worst way possible, but this is even bad. This is just fucking full-on, no fucking corresponding thoughts at all. It's just madness. Oh, check it out, man. I bought this $1,000 watch for a girl that I haven't even been on a date with. Check it out, man. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go rattle with it. What the... Wh what? Oh, please, dude. Yes. Hey, what's up? Um... Who's that for? Oh, um... Sorry, I, I can't. I... Uh, 
Oh my god, don't get me wrong. I know it's obvious that they're trying to portray this guy as like, you know, this loser that, you know, he gets rejected a few times and then he ends up hating women and this is the this is the average person that doesn't like BuzzFeed or talk shit on their videos. But seriously, how is this even convincing at all? Like the guy meets up with a girl he met at work, says like two words to her, after three months of saying like two words to her at all, buys her a $1,000 watch. Like... That what? Excuse me. Should take the tag off. So Fred, there's a few things that I really need to talk through with you. I've been hearing about inappropriate behavior. Inappropriate behavior? What the fuck? He said like three words the entirety of his job so far, and then he bought a watch for someone and then they turned it down. How is that inappropriate? He tried to give her a fucking present. I don't get this whole, that was sexual harassment. He just tried to give her a goddamn present. I mean, shit, if he punched her in the face in an alleyway and then started raping her, then gave her a present, fair enough. But he just walked up and tried to give her a watch and she said no. How is that sexual harassment? What? Oh, and now he's watching a BuzzFeed video. Oh, man, that, that makes so much sense. Like, anybody that doesn't like BuzzFeed, they're obviously a person that got rejected a hundred times, so they're mad at BuzzFeed. I mean, that makes complete sense, BuzzFeed. Thank you for this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, BuzzFeed, but I'm pretty sure that almost nobody does that. I mean, look, I get it. You guys are desperate. You're looking for answers. You don't know why people are disliking the videos when you're just saying that white men are pieces of shit. But look, dude, I'm sorry, BuzzFeed, but I'm pretty sure that the average person that doesn't like BuzzFeed every single day gets up and punches a poster of a girl. Yeah, I don't know, man. Call me crazy, but I don't know if I really buy that one. Oh, ha ha ha, BuzzFeed, I get it now. These are all the BuzzFeed haters, a bunch of losers, because nobody that's relatively normal could ever dislike BuzzFeed. I mean, that's fucking impossible, right, BuzzFeed? I mean, seriously, right, BuzzFeed? You fucking SJW fuck- Stop, please, please, please. Well, oh boy, looks like that's pretty much it for the video. Well... Fuck, in conclusion today, guys. Hey guys, wanna hear a scientifically proven fact? Well, do you not like BuzzFeed? Well then, clearly, you're a social reject loser that's been rejected four times, and on top of that, got rejected after you bought someone a $1,000 watch. I mean, fuck me, dude. This is just the reality that we live in. Join BuzzFeed, and be loyal to BuzzFeed, or you can be an absolute loser, social reject, fucking cuck boy, pretty much a more evolved version of Onision himself. This is my vegetarian body! Regardless, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And regardless of whether or not you love BuzzFeed or think they're absolute pieces of shit, if you did enjoy this video today, be sure to leave a like on the video. It really means a lot to me. And on top of that, judging from this video on BuzzFeed, there's going to be quite a bit of uh, BuzzFeed SJW warriors that are probably just going to leave a dislike. So yeah, if you want to leave a like, I'd appreciate the fuck out of you. And uh, yeah, it, it would be really fucking swell, man. It'd be really cool. Especially when it comes to these fucking hardcore BuzzFeed diehard fucking kamikazes, alright? So, yeah, leave a like on the video, and I'll tell you what, leave a like on the video, and I'll send you a free bag of meth, alright? Free bags of meth for everyone leaves a like on the video, and with that all being said, guys, thank you so much for the support, you guys are just the best, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Peace, peace, and thanks for watching once again.